Westerville is a city in Delaware and Franklin counties in the U.S. state of Ohio. It is a northeastern suburb of Columbus. The population was 36,120 at the 2010 census. Westerville was once known as the dry capital of the world for its strict laws prohibiting sales of alcohol. History equals Early history equals, the land that is today Westerville was first settled around 1810. In 1818, Matthew, Peter, and William Westervelt, settlers of Dutch extraction, migrated to the area from New York. Matthew Westervelt donated land for the construction of a Methodist church in 1836, and the settlement was subsequently named in the Familia Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Honor. In 1839, the Blendon Young Men Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Seminary was chartered in Westerville. Matthew Westervelt was one of its first trustees. The Church of the United Brethren in Christ bought the seminary in 1846, and the next year the seminary was reformed, and renamed Otterbein College after the church a Euro unregistered trademark as founder Philip William Otterbein. It continues today in Westerville as the private Otterbein University. Westerville was platted by 1856, and officially incorporated in August 1858. The town's population in that year was 275. Throughout the antebellum era, several homes in Westerville were stations on the Underground Railroad. Among these is the Hanby House, located one block from the college. Benjamin Russell Hanby had moved to Westerville in 1849, at the age of 16, to enroll at Otterbein University. Hanby went on to write many familiar hymns and songs, among them Darling Nellie Gray, who is he in yonder stall? And the Christmas favorite up on the housetop. His home in Westerville, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, was dedicated as a museum in 1937 and is now owned by the Ohio Historical Society and managed locally by the Westerville Historical Society. It is the only state memorial to a composer in the state of Ohio. Equals dry capital of the world equals, an 1859 town ordinance prohibited sales of alcohol in Westerville. By the 1870s, a burgeoning conflict between pro- and anti-temperance forces boiled over into the so-called Westerville Whiskey Wars. Twice, in 1875 and 1879, businessman Henry Corbin opened a saloon in Westerville, and each time the townspeople blew up his establishment with gunpowder. Westerville's reputation for temperance was so significant that in 1909 the Anti-Saloon League moved its national headquarters from Washington, D.C. to Westerville. The League, at the forefront of the Prohibition movement, gained its greatest triumph when the 18th Amendment to the United States Constitution was ratified in 1919. The League printed so many leaflets in support of temperance and Prohibition a euro over 40 tons of mail per month a euro that Westerville, by then known as the dry capital of the world, was the smallest town in the nation to have a first-class post office. The League's Westerville headquarters was given to the Westerville Public Library in 1973 and now serves as a museum attached to the library. After Prohibition ended, Westerville remained dry for most of the 20th century. Equals Since 1915 equals, in 1916, Westerville became the first village in Ohio to adopt a council-manager form of government, in which a city council makes policy but the town's administrative and many of its executive governmental functions are vested in an appointed, professional manager. Westerville retains the council-manager system to the present. The city elects seven council members at large for four-year terms. The council selects from among its own a member to serve as mayor, vice-mayor, chair, and vice-chair. Under the city charter, the mayor is only the ceremonial head of the government of the city. The council additionally selects the city manager, who serves indefinitely. In 2007, David Collinsworth replaced David Lindemore as city manager after the latter's tenure of 22 years. In 1995 the city annexed 941 non-dry acres of land to its north, which included several alcohol-selling businesses. Subsequently, Voters have approved alcohol sales in Old Westerville at a number of establishments through site-specific local options. In 2006 Michael's Pizza served the first beer in Uptown Westerville in over 70 years. Geography 
Westerville is located at 40A degree 7 a euro squared 25 a euro cubed N82 A degree 55 a euro squared 17 a euro cubed W. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 12.61 square miles, of which 12.47 square miles is land and 0.14 square miles is water. Demographics equals 2010 census equals as of the census of 2010 there were 36120 people 13859 households and 9800 families residing in the city the population density was 2896.6 inhabitants per square mile there were 14467 housing units at an average density of 1160.1 per square mile the racial makeup of the city was 88.6% white, 6.4% African American, 0.2% Native American, 2.3% Asian, 0.5% from other races, and 2.1% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.9% of the population. There were 13,859 households of which 31.9% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 58.7% were married couples living together, 9.1% had a female householder with no husband present, 2.9% had a male householder with no wife present, and 29.3% were non-families 24.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 10.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.48 and the average family size was 2.96. The median age in the city was 41.2 years 22.4% of residents were under the age of 18. 10.1% were between the ages of 18 and 24. 22.2% were from 25 to 44. 31.1% were from 45 to 64 and 14.3% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.0% male and 53.0% female. Equals 2000 census equals, as of the census of 2000, there were 35,318 people, 12,663 households, and 9,547 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,851.1 people per square mile. There were 13,143 housing units at an average density of 1,061.0 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 93.54% white, 3.20% African American, 0.13% Native American, 1.55% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 0.36% from other races, and 1.19% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.07% of the population. There were 12,663 households out of which 39.3% of those had children under the age of 18 living with them, 64.8% were married couples living together, 8.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 24.6% were non-families 20.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 8.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.67 and the average family size was 3.11. In the city the population was spread out with 26.9% under the age of 18, 9.1% from 18 to 24, 27.1% from 25 to 44, 26.5% from 45 to 64 and 10.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females there were 90.3 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 84.9 males. The median income for a household in the city was $69,135, and the median income for a family was $82,163. Males had a median income of $55,053 versus $36,510 for females. 
the per capita income for the city was $29,401. About 2.5% of families and 3.5% of the population were below the poverty line, including 3.5% of those under the age of 18 and 5.0% of those ages 65 and older. Education Otterbein University, a private four-year liberal arts college, was founded by the United Brethren Church in 1847 and is now home to over 3,000 students. The United Brethren Church has since merged with a Methodist church and is now the United Methodist Church, with which the college continues to be affiliated. Other colleges and universities in Westerville, Ohio include Hondros College, Franklin University, Dominion University, the Ohio State School of Cosmetology, Columbus State Westerville Center and Fortis College. Westerville is served by the Westerville City School District. The district operates three high schools, Westerville South High School, which opened in 1960 as Westerville High School, Westerville North High School, and Westerville Central High School. In addition, Westerville has four middle and 16 elementary schools. The middle schools are Blendon, Genoa, Heritage, and Walnut Springs. The elementary schools are Emerson, Central College, Hanby, Longfellow, Olcott, Anhurst, Cherrington, Fuss, Hawthorne, Hoover Ridge, Mark Twain, McVeigh, Point View, Robert Frost, Whittier, and Wilder. Transportation in the early days before the town's incorporation, Westerville was connected to Columbus by a plank road with a toll of 10 cents. Today, Westerville borders Interstate 71 and Interstate 270, expressways that connect it with Columbus and other suburbs. Via the interstates, central Westerville is 16 miles from downtown Columbus and 12 miles from Port Columbus International Airport, central Ohio's primary terminal for air passengers. State Route 3, the 3C Highway, which connects Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati, is the chief north-south thoroughfare of the Old Town Center, known as Uptown Westerville, through which it is called State Street. Streetcars plied the avenues of Westerville from the late 19th century but service was discontinued in 1929. Today, Westerville offers little in the way of public transportation. The city itself operates no public buses, but the Central Ohio Transit Authority serves Westerville with five bus lines. Economy equals top employers equals, according to Westerville's 2010 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are points of interest equals business and industry equals, Cheryl and Company, originally and popularly known as Cheryl's Cookies, was founded in Westerville in 1981 and is still based there. Worthington Industries has a cylinder factory in Westerville. The American Ceramic Society, a non-profit professional organization founded in 1899 in Columbus, has its headquarters in Westerville. Equals community equals, the town center, home to many locally owned stores and boutiques, is referred to as Uptown Westerville. The storefronts along State Street are mainly the original architecture. Westerville is served by the Westerville Public Library. In 2005, the library loaned more than 1.7 million items to its 78,000 cardholders. Total holdings are over 347,000 volumes with over 500 periodical subscriptions. In late 2004, the library started a renovation that was completed in May 2006. The library is also home to the Anti Saloon League Museum. Westerville is served by the local newspaper This Week Westerville News and Public Opinion, as well as by the newspapers of Columbus, including the Daily Columbus Dispatch. Blendon Woods, Sharon Woods, and Anise Wood Botanical Garden and Nature Preserve are part of the Columbus and Franklin County Metropolitan Park District. All have several miles of walking trails. The last includes several exceptional gardens. The Westerville Community Center opened in 2001. The 96,600 square foot building offers a track, gymnasium, pool, climbing wall, and other recreational facilities. Westerville is home to a smaller and lesser known Hoover Dam, where the Westerville Crew High School rowing team and the Ohio State University and Denison University sailing teams practice. Central High School is further north than North High School, 
a fact featured on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart in March 2008. Central High, Genoa Middle and Hawthorne, Foss and Alcott Elementary are outside of city limits. Equals recognition equals, Westerville was named America's best suburb in 2013 by Movota Real Estate. Westerville was ranked number 15 on Money Magazine's list of the top 100 best places to live in 2009 and ranked number 46 on the list in 2007. The Westerville Parks and Recreation Department has won the gold medal for excellence in parks and recreation management for Class 4 in its last three years of eligibility, as a winner must wait five full years before applying again. Westerville was named Sports Illustrated Sportstown Ohio in 2003 as part of the magazine's 50th anniversary. Notable people In television and media, on the musical comedy television series Glee, Westerville is the location for a fictional private school, Dalton Academy, home to the Dalton Academy Warblers, a rival show choir. The city is located about two hours' drive southeast of Lima, Ohio, the series' main setting. References External links City website, Westerville Public Library